ವಿ ಫೋರ್ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ನ ಸಮಸ್ತ ವೀಕ್ಷಕರಿಗೆ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪಸ್ ರೌಂಡ್ ನ ವಿಶೇಷ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ನಮ್ಮ ಭಾರತ ದೇಶವನ್ನು ವಿಯೆಟ್ನಾಂ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಬ್ರಾಂಡ್ ಅಂಬಾಸಿಡರ್ ಆಗಿ ಪ್ರತಿನಿಧಿಸಲು ಆಯ್ಕೆಯಾಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೇಂಟ್ ಅಲಾಷಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಬಿ ಎ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಆಶ್ನಾ ರಾಯ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಶೋ ಆಶ್ನಾ ಹೌ ಐ ಗುಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಭಾರತ ದೇಶವನ್ನು ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಯೂತ್ ಎಂಬಾಸಿಡರ್ ಆಗಿ ನೀವು ಪ್ರತಿನಿಧಿಸಲು ಹೋಗುತ್ತಿದ್ದೀರಾ ವಿಯೆಟ್ನಾಂನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಗೆ ಹೌ ಆರ್ ಯು ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಡೆಲಿಗೇಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕೆರೆಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಕೆರೆಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪಂಜಾಬ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮಧ್ಯ ಪ್ರದೇಶ್ ಸೊ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ವಿತ್ ದಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಟೀಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಲೆವೆಲ್ and being uh, looking forward to this experience has definitely been a great journey so uh, i believe there are only 13 cadets uh, yes for vietnam uh, cadets only you karnataka dalli obbre yes uh, represent martiro de ga okay that is uh, really good to hear uh, ncc time journey alli nimdu enella challenges annu you face madidira adan aa challenges annu you hege overcome madidira i think the biggest challenge is uh, when you are in a competitive camp so there are so many cadets participating for the same event as you so you are basically living with them and you are so close to them and uh, you are competing with the same people and sometimes the competition is quite tight knit like there's maybe a 0.5 difference between you and the next person so that pressure of uh, always being the best and always being on top i think has been the biggest uh, challenge uh, because at every point there are for example my category best cadet there are almost six more events so performing in every event uh, equally as good as the previous one that i think is the biggest challenge yes so coming to you said uh, performing better so you have received uh, all india best cadet award from our honorable uh, prime minister alwa so adondo recognition prestigious recognition padiyoke nimge ondo eshtu hege feel aitu a definitely it was a very beautiful feeling because uh, the title of all india best cadet uh, it's a very long journey from around august to january is just toiling away every day and uh, the title itself it's around it's an all india level competition so you cannot really you know gauge your competitors because you do not know how well prepared they are the only thing you can do is believe in your own goal and uh, stay your uh, set your sights on your very uh, first goal so uh, being in that competition it's like such a long haul and at the end when you finally achieve that and all your mentors back home all your uh, buddies back home or uh, it feels like a victory of the entire team and not just yes. you so i think that makes the achievement even more sweet okay nice so throughout this uh, e ncc journey alli nimdu biggest mentor agli nim biggest supporter yaar yaar agiddru so i definitely had a lot of supporters and mentors who helped me uh, uh, we had a team of seniors who had come and tirelessly helped us out we had anish rahul uh, atik db rupit disoza and manish bhat along with sanidhi senior likit senior and roshni senior and uh, all of them are our seniors and uh, they came every day gave us classes trained us motivated us along with my ano flying officer all in this kit and all the officers of mangalore as well as karnataka uh, they provided us with a lot of support not just in terms of training but also in terms of emotional support because when you're so far away from home in delhi and you don't really have anyone else and when you give them a call you feel like you know okay we can go to the next day and perform even better so they are unwavering support even though they have their own commitments is something that kept us sane throughout okay so a message kodak ishta padtira iga young ncc uh, girls candidate cadet ke ya a message kodak ishta padtira reo society barriers anna overcome maadi avara passion ata pursue madoke so i think the biggest barrier uh, for anyone is yourself and uh, because when we are in ncc of course there is a distinction between st which is senior division cadets and sw which is uh, senior wing cadets so sts are boys and sws are girls so of course that division is there and uh, we see that there is a lot more you know sd cadets more than sw cadets but uh, i think that just should motivate you to perform better and uh, since the scope of getting selected is so small i think when you put that extra effort and get selected i think that itself is an empowerment for you so i think uh, when you stop seeing yourself as an sw and just start seeing yourself as a cadet because this uniform does not have uh, any distinct uh, distinction so if you are an sw cadet you have the same uniform you are an sd cadet you have the same uniform so when you take pride in your uniform and uh, move forward in ncc as an sw cadet and inspire everyone around you i think that's how you become the best version of yourself too 
what do you believe are the key qualities that have contributed to your success as a cadet and uh, how do you cultivate these attributes in your daily life new daily life alli new enella kaltidira key qualities and ya enella nimmalli maadidira adanna new daily life alli hege upayoga maartira uh, so for me i think the biggest quality you should be having is commitment to anything okay. uh, even if it's a very small goal maybe it might be some assignment that you are you know yet to finish or an exam i think when you have commitment everything else whatever distraction you have that just blurs up so that commitment to that goal i think that is the only way you can reach something because if you are persistent enough and you have that drive to focus on that one single thing mm -hmm. nothing else can stop you all okay. so the fear of getting rejected or the fear of getting something lesser than what you worked for all of that is very minimal compared to what effort you have to put in mm -hmm. so when you put in those efforts with the same consistent uh, you know efforts every day i think that is when the goal actually becomes you know accomplished uh, you cannot really you know do something uh, in a particular sequence or you cannot achieve something if you feel that all these distractions come into your head during the process and all these qualities need to be in your real life as well because when in ncc camps of course you push to your limit and you have to be focused every day you have to you know perspire for everything there when you come back uh, you start feeling like you know even college should be a sort of camp for everything you know you need to commit to the same level that you're committing in ncc to so when you inculcate all these qualities from ncc to the camps to the college i think it becomes much easier life for you as well now apart from ncc what are what do you what are your hobbies and what interest you what do you do during your free time uh, so i am mostly a dancer i love dancing and uh, i've been dancing since i was in school or something i used to give a lot of uh, dance shows and stage performances and along with dancing i am a writer too i am a poetry writer i used to run a page on instagram and i've also published my own book oh. that's on amazon Which and book uh, is that? it's called for the fury within okay. so it's a compilation of 30 poems and writing has been something that's really helped me from 10th grade because ever since the lockdown started i think every student must have gone through this anxious phase where exams and uh, commitments to studies were just piling on but i think writing helped me out a lot it gave me a release and uh, i think it's a good habit to have as well like you know when you having any thoughts just pen it down and it becomes a really good piece of literature e avadadru ondu memorable experience idya nimdu ncc journey alli enadru nimge thumba memorable agi very close to your heart do you have any such memories uh, yes uh, the thing is the camp the republic day camp which takes place in delhi Uh, what happens is that the air wing cadets of the camp they have a chance to go visit the air chief marshal's house so the air chief marshal is the chief of the air staff the entire air force indian air force is headed by air chief marshal so what happened is that, uh, during our training our senior had uh, given us a book and that book is from his uh, residence so there is a you know kind of uh, parcel that they give to the cadets and in that parcel there is a book so that book was given to me during training Uh, a sort of a uh, motivation to go to delhi and when i went to delhi and uh, we got a chance to go to the house of uh, the air chief marshal it was a beautiful experience uh, seeing the air house uh, interacting with the chief of air staff uh, you know having tea with him and interacting with so many air cadets so at the end we were given the same parcel and i assumed that the book might not be there since you know it was uh, quite a old book okay. but i opened the parcel and the same book was there oh. and it brought me back to the time i g i got the same book from my senior and uh, at that moment i just could realize that you know how far the journey was and how long the journey was yeah. and so i felt i was a bit teary that day oh. because i just felt all these emotions at once and uh, being in delhi was such a surreal experience because every ncc cadet uh, you know aspires for rdc for them it is a passion for them it is a madness so going to rdc and uh, seeing all of this the chief marshal's house the army chief's house and naval chief's house all of this is an experience that you know you can never stop talking about so i think those moments that bring you back to the time you were just training and aspiring for rdc i mean you come to rdc and you see all of this you realize that you have finally made it to the uh, big stage okay nim the first time experience flying flying maduvaga nimdu flying cockpit ige hoguvaga hegittu nim the first time experience uh, how was it so my first flying experience was in bangalore and uh, it was because actually i had never flown before uh, so the officer in charge told me that i could have a sortie with her so as i went to the aircraft uh, i assumed you know i because i've flown on commercial uh, aircraft before i thought it not 
be such a new experience for me. But as I sat in that cockpit uh, as a co-pilot to the officer and I was looking around, it was such a beautiful experience because uh, I could control the aircraft for a while mm -hmm. and uh, getting to see the entire Bangalore uh, skyline and we could fly over the para base and uh, watch all those uh, buildings and uh, have uh, two touch and back, it's basically mm -hmm. a circuit. Yeah. So all of those experiences I think they really added to my uh, memories as RDC because that flying experience became a core memory for me. Wasn't during the daytime or the night? Daytime. Daytime, daytime would be even more, all the lights. Yeah, and yeah definitely. Like. Quite beautiful experience. Yes. Okay. How do you balance the NCC responsibility, your personal life, or you said you also like to dance? So, how do you balance? How do you take time for other things? Was it difficult for you to balance this? Uh, so, the thing is that when you get into NCC, it becomes your life. And uh, it's not something, it's not, uh, you know, a responsibility per se, it becomes more of a lifestyle for you. Like for me now, all of my NCC buddies, I am much more closer to them than my actual college friends. Okay. And uh, whenever I spend time with them, I don't feel like I am having some obligations towards NCC. I just feel like I'm doing my job. Mm -hmm. And uh, NCC is a very beautiful organization to be a part of. Yes. The values you learn, the friends you make, the things you learn. Uh, it's just, you know, out of the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes to academics, I think when I finished my RDC and came, I had my board exams the very next month. And uh, all I could motivate myself uh, by saying that, you know, if I could achieve that, I think this should not be such a big problem for me. So I could use the same commitment values that I used in RDC to, uh, you know, achieve my academics as well. So I think it's just a matter of time management. Uh, they say if you love doing your job, it doesn't become a job anymore. It becomes a passion. So NCC is a passion and I think all the cadets can resonate with this because once you're into NCC, it becomes your lifestyle and uh, you will carry that uh, feeling of being a cadet throughout your life. How do you educate somebody who, is, who has not got knowledge on RTC background? Somebody who is from a non-NCC uh, background, how do you edu educate them? Uh, so for example, if I take something like a national sports championship where states play against states. In NCC also, uh, instead of states, we are called as directorates. So, for example, now Karnataka and Goa, they are not two individual states, they come under one directorate. So, Karnataka, Goa is one directorate, uh, there is Maharashtra directorate, and there is uh, Kerala and Lakshadweep directorate. So, like this, the whole of India is divided into 17 directorates. So, RDC or Republic Day Camp is a national level championship between all of these directorates. So, in that also, there are many categories. For example, they participate in drill, they participate in culturals, they participate in best grade, which is my category and they participate in something called as flag area as well as ship modeling. Mm -hmm. So there are many competitions that come under Republic Day camp and uh, RDC is the highest national level camp that you can achieve. So for a cadet to pass through seven camps is a big thing and after seven camps you get to experience RDC and after RDC you have the day kitting camp. So these seven camps are usually a three are group camps which is within your city and four are directed level camps, so mm -hmm. statewide camps. So at least uh, more than 500 uh, or 3000 cadets uh, you know, per year, they aspire for uh, RDC from our state. But uh, the ones who make it to RDC are uh, maybe 100 or 120 cadets. So the margin is quite small. So a contingent of 120 cadets go to Delhi where they represent the directorate and they try to bring the championship banner home for the directorate. So that is what uh, RDC is. It is a mega event because uh, it's a one month camp yeah. and you get to meet everybody uh, from the DG of NCC who is the head of NCC uh, to all the air chief, uh, the air chief marshal, the army chief, the naval chief, the defense minister also pays a visit to the camps. So the camp is a very big, you know, it's kind of a event that the best of NCC is showcased there. Mm -hmm. Whether it is the aero models there or the ship models there, uh, there is an aircraft there, it is a MiG-23. So the MiG-23 is displayed in the camp. There is a army tank there, there is a ground too, Makaryapa ground. Mm -hmm. So all of these things held at the, you know, NCC, DG NCC headquarters. I think that makes it the best that NCC has to offer. So anyone going to RDC uh, has a very, uh, you know, uh, amazing experience there. And it is a very uh, prestigious uh, achievement to have, to get to compete in RDC. Ashna, you are an NCC having, having a cadet of 6th Karnataka. Uh, air squadron they say. Can you just tell Nama Viksha Karike Swalpa Adra Bage Swalpa Mahiti Kodboda A no Inta Anta? So in Mangalore which is our uh, group mm -hmm. uh, in NGC it's not called city it's called group. So we are part of Mangalore group. So under Mangalore group there are many NCC units. 
So these units uh, maybe for example, I am from 6 Karnataka Air Squadron NCC which is the air unit. But when you come to the army units, there is 18 Karnataka Battalion which is the army unit. Mm -hmm. There is 19 Karnataka Battalion which is from Kurk. There is 20 Karnataka Battalion and 21 Karnataka Battalion. So these uh, battalions and naval subunits or uh, air squadrons, these are units. So these units make up one group and under the unit there are many colleges. For example, under 6 Karnataka Air Squadron, we have Aloysius College, we have St. Joseph's, we have Alvas and we have Agnes. Mm -hmm. So all these four colleges constitute the 6 Karnataka Air Squadron unit. Okay. So see, now, Yelru Iga NCCLE join Akare school Ali Ruaga, Yelru continue Madala. One version, one version, one version, one bit bit. Tare. Nimdu inspiration eno join aglike, adana continue madlike, illi varage, represent marti dira no, barata desha varno, represent madwa stunim the yak en on the inspiration nimdu. I think when I was a junior wing cadet yeah. in, uh, I was in Canberra High School CBSC. Uh, so one of my seniors in uh, ATC camp, which is annual training camp, uh, she had completed RDC. And uh, she came to the camp wearing a blazer and a sari and uh, you know formals. So that attracted me a lot because you know that blazer is maroon color, it's written the Republic Day contest in 2020. And uh, it, you know there's a different uh, charm about RDC cadets. Mm -hmm. You know they get to wear golden ranks, uh, they have line yards, they have medals pinned on the uniform. And all of that attracts an NCC cadet a lot because you know that the, the feeling of watching an RDC completed cadet come to the parade ground and you know uh, teach you what they have learned. I think that will inspire all the cadets on the ground. So when I was junior wing cadet, uh, that's what inspired me. Mm -hmm. And as I joined senior wing, uh, there were so many seniors around. Uh, in fact, for my college, there were three who had completed RDC last year. Mm -hmm. So watching them achieve it and watching our mentors come and train us and uh, tell their stories. And they were so humble while they were teaching us, even though they had completed RDC themselves. And they had also, you know, been to such great heights and yet they come back and they teach. I think that inspired me that, you know, if uh, they are coming and giving them, you know, their time to us. So I think it is our, you know, duty to give it our all and achieve it for them as well and for yourself as well. So when you come back, you come back to your unit, you can teach your juniors what you have learnt during your RDC tenure. You were selected uh, for Republic Day camp. Uh, so the event of Best Carrot, which is one of the events that are in RDC, we have six more sub-events. So the first uh, sub-event is drill competition, which is that you have to have a drill sequence basically and you have to showcase your drill. So you have 150 marks for that. Uh, then you have a written exam, which is again 150 marks. Then you have firing, which is again 150 marks. You have to fire from a you know, rifle and uh, uh, you have around three positions with 15 bullets each. It's a timed firing competition. Uh, then you have uh, communication, which is divided into two parts. So communication holds 300 marks, but the first part is group discussion. So I think defense aspirants will know what a group discussion is. It is basically when a group of people come together and you are discussing about a topic. So people mistake it with a debate, but it is not actually debate. It okay. is basically the officers trying to get your opinions out of you. So group discussion is 150 marks and then you have personality interview. So these interviews are quite grueling and uh, quite tricky also because you have a panel of officers and they ask you about your life and you know about your city and your state. So this interview also has 150 marks and uh, what happens is that the top four cadets of uh, you know RDC, the top four best cadets, they have a chance to have an interview with the DG himself. The DG is the uh, top boss of NCC. So when the DG comes and interviews you, you have marks for that as well. And the sixth event is culturals. So if you are a best cadet, you have to be part of culturals and uh, being in culturals gives you much more points. You get 30 extra points for being in culturals. So these six events plus the DG interview, if you are in the top four, makes a total of 900 marks. Mm -hmm. So this marking scheme is what it is for best cadet, which is very unique from the other events. Because drill is just, uh, just it's just one event, culturals too, it is uh, just one event. But best credit when you see it encompasses a lot of things into one mega event. Okay. Good luck Ashna Rai and uh, may you shine bright in the future as well. Thank you. Thank you.